Hello, this is Dr. Janet Hall. I'm a clinical psychologist, hypnotherapist, um, author of eight books, six of which are on parenting, and I'd like to talk to you today about a real life experience of um, my own daughter growing up and how being a psychologist really, really helped me know what I could expect of her. Now, I bet if I asked you, what do you want for your children? You'd say, I just want them to be happy. And that's certainly what I said. And I was quite worried and concerned when Pam was little and um, she was not um, doing really well with reading. And I knew that she was really smart. I, I'd been reading to her since she was a baby, could barely sit up and look at a book. And she loved reading and she, she loved words. And so it was the spelling that was really um, bringing her down. And, and I had her assessed by a friend of mine um, who taught through the um, phonics method. And uh, Robin said to me, uh, you know what, Pam, Pam just doesn't learn like that. She's more of a, what we call a look-say kind of a kid, where the phonics or the sounds of the words don't really make sense. And they're much better off because perhaps they're more visual than most. It's like they take a, a snapshot of the word. And so it was really um, good to know that. And uh, Pam was able to learn to read and was doing really well. Um, but the next thing that happened was that she wasn't really good at maths at all. And uh, she felt really, really that, you know, the other kids were um, thinking that she was dumb. Um, and she just hated maths um, and, and just, you know, couldn't learn. Um, so we tried the Kumon maths tables and, and she got a little bit better with that. Um, but ultimately, um, what really, really helped me understand what I could do for Pam was that I had a psychologist colleague do an IQ test on her. Now, IQ isn't the be all and end all. In fact, they say that intelligence tests basically just predict how well you're going to do in school and whether or not you've got the kind of intelligence that's going to enable you to, to best go through, or should I say survive, university level. And you know, what's really good and, and helped me a lot was um, in having that assessment done of Pam, we actually found that she has a really high IQ. So despite her almost dyslexia and her troubles with numbers, um, she has an amazing sense of, uh, of, uh, of reasoning ability and, and particularly what we call creative intelligence. So once I learned that, I just completely relaxed and I knew that Pam had it in her to go as far as she wanted. And indeed, um, she, she didn't um, want to continue in high school um, with her year 12, but uh, went back again when she was 20 and she blitzed it in at the Council of Adult Education because she was studying at her own pace, choosing the subjects that she loved and really enjoyed doing. And so um, she's ultimately doing uh, very successfully in life, knowing that she's um, followed her own path and, and hasn't had to have the structure that education puts on you. Now, maybe what I'm saying is ringing true for you and you need or you'd like to have your child assessed. And if we could help you do that, please just um, email me, jan at drjanethall.com.au. Um, go and find out more about our work at uh, janethall.com.au and um, put your mind at rest. Get your child an assessment with a full intelligence IQ test and then you can relax knowing what they're capable of and um, you can just wait and uh, know that they will be successful and you can be glad because with success they'll be happy and so will you.